Hi, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to Periscope. Get in here, Brittany. <laughs> Let's see who's going to join us tonight. Y'all, I, oh, Amy King. Hi, Amy. I've never Periscoped with my two younger kids before. I Periscoped with Brittany. Bryson has never scoped with me. Yeah, I have. Oh, in, in Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania that one time when we were in Hershey's. That doesn't count. It does count. I forgot about that. So what we are doing is we are scoping together tonight. We just finished Good Friday service at church with our family. And that was awesome to be there together. Yes, yeah, Shabbat Shalom. Uh, so, Amy, we are just discussing tonight some things that our pastor preached about. Hi, Michelle. Thanks for joining and um, so anyway, and y'all don't forget to give hearts because we need lots of hearts. There we go. Thanks for the hearts. <laughs> tap, 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 tap. Oh, gosh. Um, so uh, we are talking about Good Friday because this is a huge celebration uh, if you're a Christian. This is the biggest event in Christianity. Well, in the history of life. In the history of the world, this is the biggest <laughs> event. And it's the most fascinating event because this is the Friday before Easter Sunday, but from our perspective, we can rejoice because we know what's going to happen on Sunday. Unlike Peter, unlike the disciples, now they knew what was going to happen based on prophecy. So if we read in the Old Testament, we know that it was prophesied what was going to happen. Plus, Jesus told the disciples at the Last Supper what was about to happen. But nobody could prepare them for the reality of what was going to actually happen, which was uh, of course, the betrayal, the denial, and then then Jesus getting arrested and, of course, crucified, which was what happened tonight. So, Pastor Robert talked about Peter and his his part in this story, which was really great. It was a great message. Go to gatewaypeople.com if y'all are interested in hearing our pastor's Easter message. Can Really, really fantastic. So, gatewaypeople.com for that, and uh, you could hear his Easter message anytime tomorrow or Sunday. So, you guys, what did you think about the message? And uh, let's just tell everybody what we learned a little bit tonight. Hi, Jonathan. Hi, Jonathan. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, um, I'm going to scoot over a little bit here. <laughs> <laughs> what did you guys learn tonight? My biggest takeaway, uh, well, uh, well, it's a spoiler alert. <laughs> I haven't, I haven't heard that's it true, that's true. That's okay. What is your biggest takeaway from tonight? Uh, <laughs> or what is your biggest, what's your favorite part of the Easter story? Ugh. Brittany, I'm, help him out. Okay, well, the sermon was on Peter. <laughs> I don't want to spoil anything. We gotta all get in here. It was on Peter and um, how he denied Christ, but first he was saying, you know, no, Lord, I won't deny you, I won't deny you. But then Jesus tells him, um, you know, the Easter will crow three times. Yeah, you before know. the end of the day, the rooster, the rooster's gonna crow, and you will have denied him. And the first time. time he denied him, the first Easter crowed immediately. The rooster. Yeah. What I say? Easter. <laughs> rooster, that is. But anyway, Bryson, what what was your big takeaway with this story? Uh, wait, that was not my biggest takeaway. I was, takeaway, uh, but I was <laughs> just talking about it. Yeah. Okay, well, let's keep talking about. It. This is a discussion. We're talking. Okay. Uh, um. Well. Uh, as big as point in the message um, was that uh, Peter was uh, was following Jesus at at a distance, and like I guess how can we uh, uh, like uh, uh, like humble ourselves to uh, get closer to God and His purpose for us that's I guess. true that's true well i the title was what was the difference and the difference was yeah. he followed him at a distance until or, the point yeah. that he knew that he knew that he knew there was no doubt that he was god because he resurrected so by the time yeah. jesus died and then when he resurrected peter's like he really was god he was god he's the messiah and there's, you know, uh -huh. and so at that point, it was like for real when he resurrected. And then he reappeared to him um, on the seashore, you know, cooking fish and did the same miracle the second time as he did the first time when he first called Peter to follow me. And Peter went fishing, didn't catch any fish. And of course, you know the story. Jesus said, yeah. throw your nets on the other side, the other side. you know, and yeah. then they caught so many fish. And then later, after Jesus died and after he resurrected, then he's on the shore cooking fish 
Already. And and Peter is in, that's right. So there's already provision, and Peter is so depressed because he denied his Christ. This Jesus died like he said he was going to, and he knew that Jesus was God because that prophecy was fulfilled, and what Jesus had just said had happened as soon as that as soon as that rooster crowed. Immediately, he's like, "Oh, it's for real." What he said was going to happen happened. Yeah. So he he knew. I think he knew right then that he would resurrect. I do. Yeah. And then when he reappeared, um, with the same situation of Peter out fishing, not catching any fish, and then bam, Jesus, you know, calls, "Throw your nets on the other side," you know. And he did. Do you remember that song yeah. when you were in Sunday school? Yeah. Cast your nets on the other side. Remember that? <laughs> Cast, do you remember? I do. <laughs> we'll have to teach your kids that song. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, um, so what else? You guys, no, no, have you ever had the personal know. experience of doing that? Where I mean, we all do. Where we follow Jesus at a distance. And then when we have that revelation of saying, it's true. He really is God. This is real. I didn't just grow up hearing these stories. It's not just Bible stories. This Where is not get a just true revelation. Of yeah, like like you know yourself. what? This is for real. This actually happened. It's for real. Jesus is really God. Like for real. Mm-hmm. When at what point was that? Just like the the light bulb went off in your head, and you're like, yeah. Because I know a lot of my periscopers are parents, right, y'all? I gotta get up <laughs> closer so to, I can like, read. Pinpoint a certain. I can't really read these comments much. unless I go closer. Britt, you gotta come up here. You attend a good Friday service at your church? Oh, yeah, it was fun. It was fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um... Uh, in, in, in my life, um, a senior high uh, camp um, was, like, a big moment of, like, uh, of like surrender. Like, uh, uh, the opposite of Peter, I was like, I don't care what, what others think about me. Uh, I'm, I'm going to surrender uh, and follow Jesus. Um, so, senior high camp. camp, like what age? Uh, like freshman year. Yeah, ninth grade. Yeah. Um, For Brittany, I think it was eighth grade, right, Britt? What about you? Do you remember the time when you're like, this is real, I'm all in, no more messing around? Probably She's whenever always... I did that media fast. I think it was. I think that it was, was after big, after oh, the breakup with Justin. A dog sees a mommy. <laughs> Nobody knows. <laughs> it was like after she broke up with her eighth grade boyfriend, <laughs> she went on this ninth big grade. fast ninth grade. ninth grade. So it was ninth grade for both of you. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> like you've never known this. <laughs> Okay. Love the idea of a media fast. Oh yeah, that it works. A media fast is great. Well, not that I. It's not that I didn't. It's not that I did anything bad before or did whatever. You were a sinner. (laughs) (laughs) Not that I sinned ever. I didn't have really bad sins or anything like that. I was a good kid. Uh, You were a good kid. So was Brighton. Y'all were awesome. (laughs) Yes, you were. These but kids I were think, awesome. But They're I so think brother. when my relationship went deeper with God was whenever I did this media fast. And I did 30, 30 days or 32 days, something like that, of no media, which is no computer. And at the time, AOL and AIM was really big. Talking online, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, talking online, back and forth. Chatting. All night, yeah. <laughs> All night. Anyway. Well, that was a sin because you weren't allowed to do that. <laughs> well, not all night, but, you know, like hours. It was just hours. Eight hours. And hours. Yes. And you would leave and then come back and whatever. Anyway, um, so gave up computer, gave up movies and TV, gave up anything that wasn't worship music. Yes. Um, you just press in, worship music. So you went from a distance to close. During yeah, that time. So, sir. so you had a lot of time of reading, <laughs> reading the word, reading and, the word, and, and then when everybody else was watching a movie, you had to just go to your room, go and, to your room, and pray and listen to worship music. And <laughs> well, okay, so was, when did you decide good. to go to Bible college? That's a good uh, question. 
They oh, both went to Bible college. I, I know, know a lot of my parents, parents often ask me, how did you get your kids to love God? And it's like, well, I don't really have the, I didn't, <laughs> I don't have the power to get my kids, you know, just like Peter's mom didn't have the power to push Peter closer to Jesus, you know. Don't worship him in the distance. Go closer, go closer. You know, we just don't have the power to do that for our kids. They have to do that on their I own. I mean, you guide. We guide, make guide suggestions, and, pray. and but, pray. That is it. I was praying for sure that my kids would know and love God. I mean, that is every parent's really heart's desire, right? That your kids are going to know and love God. And serve him closely, not at a distance like Peter. And I think more than that, the desire is that, that my kids will know that God is real, real. Mm-hmm. and that that jesus is real and to know that you know we are all i mean you we can't be good in life there is there's no way and you guys were both pretty good kids you did not get in trouble very often like i was saying i wasn't a sinner before. <laughs> <laughs> no. but you but god humbles you he brings you yeah. to a place of where and and it may have been where you have a test i was talking about a well, few days ago where you really have a test it's like okay i have to have the faith and I've got to walk through this trial and I embrace what, it. Like, think, really, the whole point of, like, what Jesus had told Peter, you have to deny yourself. You have to deny yourself. So we all have to be willing to deny ourselves. But I think what made me do the media fast is recognizing that I was making it an idol. You oh. know, where it's taking up all your time. Oh. And. Yeah. On the computer. All, yeah. That's yeah. That's you. Think about care about, who you know. your friends that you were talking to, yeah, guys that you were connecting with. It's not necessarily guys. It was. It was guys at the time. It wasn't girlfriends you yeah, were talking to. Guys. Rarely, it was boys. She doesn't want to admit this, but it. Yeah. And his name is. No, no there were several. You would talk yeah. to him. It's ridiculous. And ninth grade, you were talking to so many boys. It was no, a thing. I, let's not. Well, she's not too pretty. Deny she's too pretty. But she's taken down. She's, she's been taken. married for a long time. Praise God. That she had did. two beautiful kids. We're on the way. Yay. Woo-hoo. Uh, but God was faithful to you. God was faithful to you. But there, but you did have to trust God with your with your love life. I mean, oh, I'm going to trust God completely. That was a big part of your experience of just trusting God completely. Yeah, it does. Right? They're responding. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. What are they saying? Uh, Meaning consumes a huge... It does. It's it's dangerous. Do y'all feel like that's the way it is now, too, with you? Yeah, yeah. it's the same. Just being on your cell phone even more now. Like, you used to sit down at the computer and chat, and now we're just on our phones constantly for literally hours a day. It robs you of your time. It robs you of your relationships. All of your it relationships. Is. Because yeah. it's not for real. Relationships with yeah. Jesus and everything. Yeah. So in a way, it can make relationships closer. In the other way, it robs you of really getting close, close to Jesus. That's true. Uh, Any other points you want to make? Um, uh, we didn't really uh, like answer the question about Bible the, college. Yeah. When did you feel called to go? To, I don't know. They both went to Bible college. I, I think when you were to a be senior. Honest, I don't know. No, I earlier think than that, when you I didn't planned. make when you didn't make uh, Pantheras or Panteras. Then you're like, there okay, was... now what? No, but I always plan on going to Bible college even after graduation. Okay, so when did you? I don't know. Plan? I don't know. It wasn't always. Well, it might have I been knew. Carrie Jo, maybe, because she was my small group. Ah, uh, Carrie Jo. Everybody knows What's Carrie. Up, Carrie? Jo. Carrie Jo she was, was a, she was actually my small group leader in middle school. In middle school, so first, she was very influential when we yeah. first moved here. When you're in eighth grade, and um. Yes. Yeah, when she was going to Bible college. The one CF that, and I. CF and I. The that's one where, I went that's to. what it was. Yeah. Well, but I don't remember thinking that's what I want to do. But she may have but influenced you that way. That could have been where, it, where I bet. it came from. Planted the idea. For you, when did you want to go to Hillsong? Um, it was after uh, a youth group, I think uh, junior year. And I was I was driving home. I think I was listening to worship music. The Hillsong music, probably. I, I don't know. <laughs> that sounds good. I think that's like made up. But... <laughs> it could have been but, happening. You um, loved Hillsong music. You really did. Um, throughout like uh, middle school and high school, I would listen to uh, Hillsong albums. Often, uh, every like, time they came out, like almost every night. Yeah. And, um, and new CDs. I was, yeah, I was 
I was very influenced uh, uh, by them, and I just wanted uh, to go uh, like deeper in, in my faith and like theology and understanding. And I liked uh, drums at the time, and I like wanted drums. to yeah yeah you want to be a drummer yeah and I wanted uh, yeah yeah to, to get better at it and to play a hill song. Yeah. And just to learn more about the Bible there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. And leadership. And leadership. Hillsong's <laughs> Leadership College in Sydney, Australia, which was cool. You guys are so awesome. Thank you for periscoping <laughs> with me tonight. <laughs> um, that is, that's the whole point of Good Friday, y'all. Uh, Mavs fan, you are the you. best. We love you. You are such a great periscoper. Um, <laughs> and thanks to everyone else who is periscoping tonight. And also, Brittany, get in the camera here. Everyone who can't lean over that far. She can't she lean, can't over, lean that over that far. She's pregnant. Okay. Just try. Just get I over there. Yeah, yeah. Move over there. You got to move. <laughs> Get in the get in the camera, bro. <laughs> Go higher. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Amy's laughing. Y'all, um, Good Friday is all about Jesus, and he demonstrated for us laying down your life. Sacrifice. So and sacrificing so that you can gain it. And the cool thing is, I'm glad you enjoyed this. The cool thing is is that we know that even when we deny ourselves that that is not the end of the story. Hey, Kim, that we know, we know that we know that we know beyond a shadow of doubt that God is real, that Jesus is real, and that he would never call us to lay down our life if he didn't have a plan to resurrect us. So he does. So he has, he, there is no more death <laughs> once, once we give our life to Jesus. So, um, anyway, y'all, thanks for Pierce Gibson with us tonight. Happy Good Friday. And I'll be back tomorrow at noon and nine. Right, Bye. guys? Bye. Thanks. Bye, Kim. Love you. Bye, everybody. Heart, 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 heart. heart, heart. heart. <laughs> thanks for joining. I'll be back tomorrow. Good night. <laughs>